Assassin's Creed is really about history and credible world. We're playing with a history that is, without trying to spoil things, extends back, you know, anywhere from 80 to 100,000 years from today and extends as far into the future as, you know, we have time to make games. Two specifics about uh, Assassin's Creed. The first one, it's a huge universe spanning across a many different medium with many different characters, events, location. The second one is uh, the community. The community on Assassin's Creed is extremely knowledgeable about this universe and also has very high expectation about what's coming next in terms of story. So putting all these things together, we realized it was time to fit everything into one reliable source of information. Actually, it really has been a, a back and forth process between the encyclopedia writers and the games writers to make sure that all the content of the, of the book of the encyclopedia is really accurate. Well, we start to, by going through all the data and then we would decide on what articles we wanted to do. And once we had that settled, uh, we would write down a brief description of the article, send it out to the external writers who would then return um, full content to us. The best part about uh, this project was uh, adding new content. Every time you get a chance to work on a brand like Assassin's Creed, um, it, just, it just makes your day, you know? We are covering and unveiling a lot of information on characters such as Altair, Ezio, Desmond Miles, Subject 16, but also new assassins such as Shao Jun. One of the very first challenges was dealing with so much data. Assassin's Creed has been around for a while and has a wealth of information from both the story standpoint within the game universe and just history in general. So going through all of that and figuring out what might be most interesting to put in the encyclopedia was very much the first challenge that I encountered. The franchise isn't defined necessarily by a single character. It's defined more by these institutions. So we have the option of moving in and out of different historical periods, different geographical locations, different uh, individual important events throughout human history. And so we have a wide variety of options, a lot of different material that we can mine for ideas and stories. Imagine this project as a huge puzzle with thousands of different pieces involving a lot of different people. We have the tools to track all the narrative threads that we're creating. So we have database, we have Bibles, we have uh, some uh, visual guidelines. So my main role is to make sure everything fits together. So what we did was we tried to match uh, specific kinds of content to writers whom we knew or figured would be interested in writing that kind of stuff. Some of the biggest experts on uh, Assassin's Creed are actually within the community. So when the time uh, came to uh, start writing the encyclopedia, we realized it would be uh, very good to try to seek uh, uh, one writer coming from, from the community. So I heard about the job um, writing for the encyclopedia uh, on the UB Workshop website, and I thought, well, it's about video games, it's about history, so it seemed perfect for me. We were uh, really surprised by the reaction. We got hundreds of uh, submissions, and some of them were very, very good. Well, most of the stuff I wrote was biographies, so of both the characters purely from the games and historical figures behind it. Make a long story short, uh, instead of hiring one, person, we finally hired five writers coming from the community. What I tried to do is, is dispatch the articles based on some of the test submissions they'd sent in, seeing what they liked to write best, and then we kept it contextually similar. We tried to minimize the risk of bad overlapping and maximize the opportunities of cross-referencing. As for the design aspect of the encyclopedia, we worked with a local agency called Double Echo. They were crucial to the creative process. For example, during earlier discussions, we decided to only use production concept arts to illustrate the encyclopedia, as opposed to 3D renders or marketing assets. The role of uh, concept art is very important in, uh, in the conception of a game. Um, during the early stage of conception, we work on very high-level concepts, so it's about a silhouette, a mood, skylines of the city, treatment for the characters, colors. It's quite remarkable how much of the stuff does have its ties to reality and things that really happen. And I'm pretty sure that readers will discover some really interesting and new information. For example, in the encyclopedia, we're going to reveal some uh, information about the Templars, uh, among, among other things. But uh, actually, the encyclopedia is going to have some spoilers. So if you haven't played the game, just wait to read it. This encyclopedia is available in Europe in the Animus edition that you can find at retail. For more information, check on assassinscreed.com and it is also available as a standalone worldwide on ubworkshop.com.